quick uh, speed efficiency test today. We're going to see uh, how efficient we are at, uh, let's try 60, 65, and 70. Or maybe I'll do 65, 70, 75, because um, we are going to be in a 70 mile per hour zone, so 60 might be a little bit too slow, um, but we'll see how it goes. Start off with a 70 and then go from there. Um, so what we do have is 76% battery. Uh, what I'll do is I'll reset the watt hours per mile for each leg of the trip. I'm going to go east and then I'll go west. A uh, <coughs> couple exits and then reset it after we do the round trip and start over again. We're going to have the Climate control set on 65, uh, no AC, and <clears throat> three fan speed. It should basically be no no energy use whatsoever. I mean, just a little bit for the fan, pretty much. It's 66 degrees outside, so it's actually a really uh, perfect day for this test. Testing the speed efficiency of the Model 3. We're going to take the ride home at 65 miles per hour top speed and see what kind of efficiency we get. Here we go.
right, so we made it in. Uh, 55.6 miles, 11 kilowatts, 196 watt hours per mile, which was excellent. Uh, obviously, that's because we went particularly slow. Uh, it was an hour and 20 minutes to go. 55.6 miles, so uh, obviously you're going to get a lot of efficiency if you're averaging <laughs> pretty slow, but I didn't go over 65 except for a couple times when I didn't catch the crews changing speeds and also just to get out of the way of some people who obviously wanted to go quicker. So overall, pretty good, and uh, definitely if you want to get better uh, range or if you want to get better efficiency then you can go slower uh, at some point it will get particularly irritating not only to you but to those around you um, but if you need to go slower for uh, getting to the next supercharger or anything like that you can always do that <laughs>